Hallelujah. Let's be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's quiet ourselves now. Your destiny is in this year, saith God. My purpose for your life that has been on hold for a while shall come forth this year. For this is a year that I have designed for my people to rise up, for my people to take a stand, for my people to be known in the earth. This is a time and an hour for the light of my glory to shine through my people. Your destiny is in this year. Stay close to me, fellowship with me, long after me, saith God. For you will walk out things that I have longed for you to walk out. You will do things that you never thought possible to be able to be done because it will be by my spirit and my glory and my great love for you said God so destiny is in this year for you my sons and my daughters rejoice in it and anticipate it and expect it in the name of Jesus come on give him glory for church hallelujah glory to God Stay close to me, fellowship with me, long for me. Throughout the year, we were blessed to see confirmation of that word. We witnessed the Spirit of God impressing on the hearts of our pastors to emphasize the importance of corporate intercessory prayer throughout the year and through the sermons taught. In June, VCC held a special intercessory prayer service in the dome in partnership with a fellow group of believers of Korean descent. Many may not have been aware, but in 1973, Billy Graham held his largest crusade in Seoul, Korea, with 3.2 million in attendance. Almost 50 years later, the grandchildren of this movement began to humbly intercede for the United States of America. In June, one team of intercessors from Korea came all the way to Victory Christian Center. Repentance and confession over our nation for its sins was made, and it was a beautiful yet powerful time of intercession with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and around the world. Our marketing team further reinforced this message with the release of their Pray Without Ceasing t-shirts. For this is a year that I have designed for my people to rise up for my people to take a stand. This year, our ministry continued its bold pro-life stance with our annual Single Mothers Preggy Fellowship. On Saturday, September 17th, our missions department hosted a Single Mothers Preggy Fellowship for the community in the Victory Youth Building. Single moms who were pregnant or had children ages two and under received special attention and love as they enjoyed a baby shower. Over 28 families were ministered to with clothes, strollers, baby car seats, and all kinds of baby items. There were also gifts for the moms and other family members in attendance. Shower gels and lotions, shampoos, and so much more. Responding to ministry of the word, five moms and one father gave their lives to Christ. And to that, we will continue to say, to God be the glory. During the summer, the Ladies of Victory hosted its LOV luncheon with guest speaker Katherine Davis, who is a strong advocate for the pro-life message. It was interesting that her message was delivered the day after the monumental overturning of Roe v. Wade. About 500 ladies packed the Victory Youth Building and received emotional healing from past abortions and encouragement that they needed. Only God could have known just how timely it was for us to have this guest speaker. The Spirit of God also led the ghouls to bring speaker Janet Boyne to victory to address our biblical stand on God's plan for marriage and relationships. She emphasized taking a stand for the kingdom of God without compromise or hate. 
Because God so loved all of the world that he sent his son Jesus, this special session was centered on helpful tips to share the love of God and the gospel to family, coworkers, and others in the LGBTQ plus community. We have a responsibility as a church. This church is not for you. You're saved already. It's for those who don't know Jesus. It's for those that are still broken and need our help and need our assistance to go on. We're grateful to God for the seed sown and for the lives that were without a doubt touched and changed for His glory. For you will walk out things that I have longed for you to walk out. The late pastor Robin Gould had a tremendous heart for pastors. He never promoted it, but it was prophesied many years ago by the late Vicki Jameson Peterson that he would be a pastor to pastors. There have been a number of ministers of the gospel who, under his training and mentorship and matriculation through our Bible college, moved on to start their own ministries. During a special ordination service in September of this year, he appointed Tony Smith as the pastor of Refreshing Springs Worship Center in Salisbury, North Carolina. Filling this position was a request of the retired pastor of that church, Pastor Naomi Hopkins. It was the first time this had happened in all the 42 years of Victory's existence. And it was truly a God thing because He is a God of timing. Let's listen to a part of Pastor Tony's testimony as he reveals that his destiny was in this year as was prophesied. Hi, I'm Pastor Tony Smith. I pastor at Refreshing Springs Worship Center in Salisbury, North Carolina, and I'm also supervisor of maintenance department at Victory Christian Center. And let me give you a little backdrop of how I met my pastor, how I got here. Um, I was in Salisbury um, at a Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church, and I was about to go up for my trial sermon there, but I prayed about it, and the Lord said, don't do it. And he told me to attend More Than Conquerors College here in Charlotte. Uh, so I did that, but I was still going to uh, Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church. So I had a funeral director ask me, he said, how are you gonna go to that church and still go down to that college? Right after that, the Lord told me, okay, now I want you to join the church. So that's what I did, talked to my wife, she was with it. Uh, I got introduced to Pastor, I uh, had a meeting with him, told him about the call of God on my life. And the first thing he told me was, he said, well, you don't have to worry about the Lord sending you out anytime soon. He said, you're a novice. <laughs> so he killed my flesh. <laughs> and people don't know where you come from. They need to know where you came from and you need to have some notches on your belt. So that was 20, almost 20 some years ago. He told me that. And I, I told him one day that I feel like the Lord is calling me back to Salisbury. And so he told me after that, he said, well, look, you need to kill that, throw it away. He said, and make sure that's what he's saying. He said, because if he tells you to go somewhere else, he said, you're gonna be stuck on Salisbury. So I honestly threw it away. Uh, this may have been like five or six years ago. So I'm going up the highway. I'm going up 77 and a car passed by me and it's on my mind whether or not I'm gonna stay here any longer or am I gonna leave. So I'm going up the highway and a, a car passed by me and the tag says, Robin time, honestly, <laughs> nothing but God. And so anyhow, once I got control of the car, I said, whoa. <laughs> so I knew I was settled after that. So after that, I was like, Lord, if you told me to stay here for 20 years, more years, I'll stay. We were going from one of his uh, preaching engagements and out of the blue, he just asked me, he said, so you think the Lord is calling you to Salisbury, huh? And I said, yes, sir. He said, so what would you call your ministry? I said, uh, I would call it Victory Christian Center North. And he laughed, he busted out with a laugh. So uh, like I say, we still, I left that alone. And um, I was uh, happy to be serving up under him, you know, still learning from him because I knew what I came down here for. So that being said, at Refreshing Springs, <clears throat> Uh, they, they lost their pastor, so they asked Pastor Gu, would he be in the, uh, helping them to find another pastor? And then, well, here you go, one morning, Pastor calls me. Hey, man, <laughs> how you feel about that church up there you're going to? And I, and I told him, honestly, I said, I said, I, I don't know, Pastor. I said, I mean, I said, I like it and everything. I said, um, it's small, but I don't have a problem with that. You know, if it's God, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. 
So he was like, I said, and I told him, I felt a little something. I said, I told my wife to pray about it. And he was like, well, look, you came up in my spirit as I was praying for them concerning the pastor. He said, so you check back with God, talk to your wife and make sure that that's what God is saying. So me and my wife did what he said, and that's what God told us to do. So he said, okay, so I'll hook you all up and we'll make it happen. Yes, definitely so. Uh, wouldn't have come here unless it was God, because I was actually satisfied in, satisfied in Salisbury. Uh, but through a, actually, the Lord showed me in a dream one day, hey, you must get down there. I mean, it, it was a strong must. Like, get down there. You're missing what he's doing. So obviously the Lord wanted me to see what he was doing, because when I got down here, I saw that he was doing some of the things that the Lord had placed on the inside of me to do. So it was just like, hey, I want you to see him do it so you can do it. This year, we give God all the glory that our YouTube channel received over 635,000 views and even more on our VCC Church app. That's thousands upon thousands of opportunities for lives to be touched and changed by the power of the uncompromising Word of God. 2022 also marked the launch of the ministry's first pre-show prior to the live stream of our weekly church services at Victory. Brighter Days, starring members of VCC's own marketing and promotions department, shared important updates, highlights, and interviews with both viewers and members, keeping them informed of ministry affairs. Indeed, the path of the righteous just gets brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Our prayer partners ministry serves in personal ministry during services and they staff our 24-hour prayer line throughout the year. In addition to individuals receiving prayer for areas of deliverance, many were ministered to in a variety of areas of ministry. 117 people received salvation, 45 people received assurance of their salvation, 122 people rededicated their lives to the Lord, 64 people received the infilling of the Holy Spirit. VCC and Church in the City collectively received 88 new members. 711 people received deliverance. And there were 9,825 general prayer requests. The total needs met and lives touched during 2022 reached 12,970. And we shout hallelujah. As we continue our victory journey, following the Holy Spirit's leading and continuing to move forward in faith into 2023, may we walk expectantly in the grace and goodness of God. We praise the Lord for His leadership through our pastor, Marilyn Gould, as well as in our personal lives. May we stand and walk boldly as representatives in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior. Our victory journey continues.